So the new Honest Trailers has just dropped. It's for the movie Mortal Engines. Now, I heard that movie was a big steaming pile of shit. So Honest Trailers is going to rip this movie apart. So I'm about to react to it. Now, before I do, let me remind you. If you like this video, click that like button, subscribe. Show me the love, please. So yeah, um, with that being said, let's take a look. Oh, boy. This is going to be brutal. What are they going to do? From Peter Jackson, the visionary director of Lord of the Rings, uh -huh. comes a film 10 years in the making because he shunted it off to his storyboard and effects guy to make The Hobbit. Oh, that's one more thing I can blame on The Hobbit movies. <laughs> Mortal Engines. Welcome to a post-apocalypse Earth, a world that still seems pretty okay looking. Nevertheless, humanity is forced to fight over limited resources by using tons of resources to live on massive mobile cities that devour smaller mobile cities in a harrowing game of hungry hungry hippos except for the humans that live in sky cities or in mobile home parks or in just normal cities which will make you wonder why parts of humanity have decided to live on massive mobile cities that consume smaller mobile cities in a harrowing game of hungry hungry hippos what happens when the Earth's crust gets shattered into a thousand pieces? Is it though? When the world is threatened by an ancient weapon, the only thing standing in its way are these extremely attractive people. <laughs> and these extremely attractive people. And also these extremely attractive extremely people attractive. whose names you won't remember, except for Hester, because her undead cyborg dad won't stop shouting it. Together, they'll take on professional bad person Hugo Weaving <laughs> in a special effects filled race. W wait, did I just say undead cyborg dad? <laughs> like he even narrates the intro. The age of the great predator cities. This movie is ridiculous. It is. Gear up for a visual feast of incredible art design and intricate detailed concepts, then choke on an entire series worth of these things, all crammed into one movie. <laughs> you're just a skivvy from the lower tiers. If those dim-witted spanner heads beat you to the bins again, you'll be back to cleaning the bogs. What the hell are Southies? Scabs. They're the Rushan, the anti-traction league of Shan Kuo. Nothing can stand in the face of this. Not the battle hammers of Archangel, not the howitzers of Panzerstadt. Not even the guns of the anti-tractionists. As it rushes past all the cool stuff you'll actually want to see and explore so that it can just do Star Wars. <laughs> You guys are missing is the father reveal. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Mother never told you. You already knew. <sighs> yep, really set myself up for that one. So put on your fanciest waistcoat and top that off with your most ridiculous hat for an ambitious project that made sure to do every dystopian earth trope, all of the steampunk things, and as much social commentary as possible. What about to lose our American deities? It may very well be they forgot how to read and write altogether. But forgot to tell a story you can follow with characters you actually care about, so you probably forgot to see it. <laughs> Aw man, now we're never gonna find out if the Shanguanese anti-tractionist and Municipal Dharmas can coexist, or what any of those words even mean. <laughs> Starring Hermione Danger. <laughs> Do you want to know how I got these scars? Yeah. Glower of London, Sky Captain, and the world of Taekwondo. <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead, <laughs> London <laughs> crawling, people falling. <laughs> People falling. People falling. And these actual names from the movie. That is Valentine. 
Bevis! Bevis Pod! Herbert Maleficent! Uh, please, sir. Uh, Beauregard Pennyroyal is my father's name. Uh, call me Nimrod. <laughs> Why is everyone in the post-apocalypse so dang pretty? Where are my pasty subterranean incest cannon fodder at? Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Listen, like, if the post-apocalyptic world is that, has filled with that many good-looking people, sign me up for the apocalypse right now. Like, I'll join that. Like, I want to be a part of that world. But no, in all seriousness, like, um, based on this Iron Trailer, like, this movie definitely sucks. Like, it's a good thing I just skipped this movie. But yeah, um, Honest Trailer's great job as usual. Um, I cannot wait for your next trailer that you drop next week. And overall, I had a blast with this. But guys, what did you do if you guys think of this Honest Trailer? Leave your comments below, guys. And if you like this video, click that like button, subscribe. Thanks.